I'm with Dr. Amy Evans. Dr. Evans, you presented a lot of great information on the benefits of breastfeeding and breast milk over formula. Can you name a couple or maybe a list of 10 components that are found in a human breast milk and not in formula? Well, um, breast milk um, is the most bioavailable um, substance for babies to take. Um, the protein, the sugars, and the fats are, um, are the most bioavailable and they actually help promote myelinization or brain development. We heard about that today. Um, so it's a great food, but in addition, um, there's a lot of immunologic properties to breast milk. There's cytokines, which are substances which actually interact um, with um, the immune system and help promote the um, immune reaction and the immune function of the uh, developing infant and control um, immune function and uh, immunoregulation. There are substances, antibacterial substances, such as immunoglobulin, secretory IgA, for example, uh, which is in um, huge amounts in breast milk. Um, babies don't make a lot of it, and there's a lot of that in breast milk. Um, and that's from the maternal um, source, and that's actually derived from the things that mothers have been exposed to. Everything that a mother's been exposed to, she makes an antibody against. It gets turned into secretory IgA, and then it gets put into um, the infant's breast milk. There are all sorts of immunoregulatory compounds. There's low molecular weight um, compounds called defensins, which help with um, HIV um, transmission or prevent HIV transmission in, um, to infants, and um, and also um, counteract E. coli, which is we all heard about that with, uh, with E. coli um, and E. coli sepsis, etc. Um, my goodness, there's so many things. There's compounds that stimulate lymphocytes to make antibodies, and also compounds that stimulate um, lymphocytes to um, a cytotoxic um, response to fight off infections. Um, gosh, is that enough? I think that's great. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>